Look the same? It looks the same. From the same bottle. Okay, same bottle. I'm not going to look. Are you getting this on film, Mike? Mm hmm. Alright. Okay, put them both down right here. Well, we can't close, keep them, oh, we gotta keep them apart. Okay. Because it'll oh, okay. transfer, the energy will transfer. Okay. Alright. So you don't, he doesn't know okay. which so one's been wanted and which one's which? One's which? Yep. I know which one's which. Alright. These two here? Yep, mm -hmm. those two. Yep, it was the one. <laughs> Definitely, that's got more bitter. Yeah, bite. Mm -hmm. more bite. yeah. It's got a bite. <laughs> yep. I don't think I've ever gone to Del Taco. Now I'm Del all Taco. self conscious because you're recording. I'm going to be acting. Like, whenever you have the camera on me, I'm always acting. I'm like, like consciously choosing what I'm saying rather than acting normal. So you need to, like, do it discreetly in order for me to act natural. And now we're leaving. But um, we didn't actually eat there. We're going to get better burritos at a better place. Now I can say I've been to Del Taco, but I just haven't eaten there. <laughs> so we didn't get burritos. We ended up going to Subway and had sandwiches. Comment? Comment. Sandwiches were good. Okay. Now we're going geocaching in Rockville Park. I found most of the one on the way to the one I haven't found, but Jimmy has not, so he will find the close ones. So, we are starting now. How far is it now? 429, 426, 419, 415. It's probably over by the power line. Cool. Yep. There is trackable? Yep. Nice. A gnome? Yeah. Can you see him? Mm hmm. So, what's he? He's supposed to sit on the edge of your glass. So he's got that little groove. Should so I he's... trade trackables? Oh yeah, you haven't discovered mine yet. No, I haven't discovered yours yet. You should like write it down then. I will. This is what we collected from here. We'll drop you off somewhere or take him back to Reading. You'll take him back to Reading. Yeah. Cool. Hello. We're at Rockville Park. Checking out the view. Throwing buckeyes over <coughs> I have a cough. A very violent cough. We are now at the geocache called Help, I'm Falling in Rockville Park. And I'm going to make my camera even with the ground and look at Jimmy. <laughs> 16 feet. It's really slanted. This is like straight up and down. Found it? Yeah. Cool. Yep. There it is. It's a cool view though. They're building houses everywhere though. Oh well. Actually my house is right out that way somewhere. Or more over there. It's hard to open. Never mind. Somewhere over there is my house. Oh there it is. <laughs> Not hidden very well. We could probably hide it better. What, is he playing like, maybe he's playing like Connect. There's a guy playing video games down there. Taking a picture of him. I wonder if he can see us. He's not looking over us, right? No. Cool. It is dark now, kind of. And we have made it back to the truck. Yes. Made it back. We're going to make a new trash container out of this old first aid kit, which is empty. 
using camouflage paint and and textured paint okay yes stone paint okay let's go make this okay so we have our kit hanging from a wire and we have our paint right there I'm gonna use camouflage and we're gonna start painting it okay you want to go right now yeah go ahead you know how to spray paint? Let me not do it. really we are going to add texture with uh, this is Rust-Oleum American Accents Stone Textured Paint. So, you just kind of okay. stay farther away than regular paint because it goes straighter and just goes clogged. Let me go clean it. Okay, well, I guess uh, we'll have to clean that then. Odorless Mineral Spirits. What it does is um, dissolves paint. So I put the cap in the spray paint can in there to clean the paint out of it. Okay, well that gave it some time to dry. This is fixed, so time to texturize. Ready? Awesome, look at it now. Yeah, check out that texture. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna do the top. Sides. Top. That's it. It's done. I got this idea of just uh, cooking brown sugar. You open it. <laughs> See, there's the brown sugar. You might add some butter to it. Make some sort of unhealthy, like, concoction. If you cook sugar long enough, it caramelizes, and that's how you make caramel. So, uh, I'm not sure if that's true, so we're gonna... Well, I know it's true. I don't know if it used brown sugar or white sugar, but... Yeah, well... It already kind of has the color of caramel. <laughs> you want to start out with just a little bit? Like that? Yeah. That is semi-cooked caramel. This yeah. isn't cooked at all yet. Is it warm? Yeah, it's warm. It's, I just have it on low temperature. I don't know where it will melt. So I'm increasing the temperature gradually. I think something is going to happen. But I don't know. See how it kind of like is moving when I stack it? Yeah, it's kind of changing its consistency. Now we're getting to the action. Yeah, but like we might burn it though. Oh, maybe yeah. like burnt? So, no, burnt crop. No, okay, now it's actually, it's really starting to melt. I'm going to turn yeah. it down. Whoops. Whoa. You drop like that. You have to continuously move it or else you will burn it. So Maybe we should have put it in like a bowl so that when it became liquid, like... Well, you can float a bowl in a pot of hot water. Yes. Is the melting point of sugar lower than 212 degrees? A whole pot of water that's on the stove. And as the water gets hot, it'll transfer heat evenly. I know that, but it, won't it will only get up to 212 degrees. It can only get as hot as boiling temperature of water. So, if it can't melt below that temperature, then it's not going to melt in that double boiler. Oh, maybe we should do that. See, thing now it's and add butter. So it yes, get some butter. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe about this much. Seems like a lot, but yeah. It's starting to like stick to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on a little bit of heat and see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try one. 
a little brown sugar. It looks like beef. It's really hot. It tastes like brown sugar. I like it. The cats have ultra sensitive hearing. I'm going to turn the heat off. Move it away. Because I think this is just about. Do you want to done. pour it into the bowl? Or scoop it into the bowl or whatever? Yeah. It kind of looks like chocolate. It does, but it, it also kind of looks like caramel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just broke and <laughs> fell down. It's like spaghetti. Kind of. Yeah, it's 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 like peanut brittle, but it's like it's it's exactly what it is. You add peanuts and it's peanut brittle. Wow. I figured out how to make something. But does I I do s taste a, a hint of burn. Here's the, uh, we actually found out we made toffee. Oh, well, you made it in the wrong order. We made the sugar. It's a dark and then we, toffee. And then we added butter. So it kind of has a slight burn flavor. But we actually did make toffee. But t Jimmy wants to, um, make pickle toffee. Combine pickle and toffee into one wondrous sandwich. Thing. Oh god, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> On to the next experiment. We're going to try and actually do it properly because we looked online to see what we actually made. And it was toffee. So it, they said to use heavy cream, but we don't have any, so we're going to use Cool Whip and butter. Get that melted and then add the sugar to it. And actually, not brown sugar, regular sugar, not white. So, or not brown, whatever. And then regular sugar, and then keep it stirring, and then as soon as the sugar melts and just barely starts to turn brown, that's when you put it onto the waxed paper. We'll try that. I'm continuing to eat the pickles. Well, they said high heat, but I don't want it to burn. High heat. It's like a high hat, but like... High heat? <laughs> high heat. Just imagine. A lot of cream. Because it said heavy cream, so it's like concentrated, but we need to put a lot of cream to make up for it because this is light cream. Yeah, <laughs> does it need any more sugar? And like, it just looks white right now. I don't know, like... It'll turn brown. Oh. Uh, it says to do it for seven minutes, so check what time it is real quick. It is... 10.27. So in 10.2014, it will be ready. 10 2014. <laughs> yeah. 1034. But it, we've started late, so this is going to be a lot of caramel if, if it works. This smells interesting. There's some uh, pure vanilla extract from Papua New Guinea. We were thinking about just adding that. It's hard to open with one. Okay, and we will just add. A little tiny bit of this because it's really strong. Just a little bit of vanilla. I, I don't know if Carl needs vanilla, but well, it might, might be interesting just to try it out and see what the end product is. Yep, mix it in. It smells really good. Like, I love the smell of vanilla. We're getting close to the seven minute mark where they say it's supposed to be. Getting closer okay, to the t tell me how much you need. Oh like, go slow. Go slow. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. That's good. Oh, okay, good. Whoa. <laughs> Hopefully, this doesn't like just dissolve into the whole thing and like completely ruin it. Okay, we're okay. Gonna, we've been stirring it constantly over heat for about 10 minutes and it's starting to get thick. So yeah, it looks kind of more like caramel now. It's like so. I'm gonna pour it out onto this wax paper. It's still 
grainy though, the sugar. I don't think it's completely melted yet. But it's I don't want to burn it. Yeah. And it might be good with a little like crunchiness of sugar. Getting it off the wax paper. Yeah. Good, it's coming off. It's kind of one solid mass. It's not really liquid like a uh, caramel. Yeah. I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. But. Eh. I've never made candy before, so. Oops, it just broke. It's still very hot. It still tastes like toffee. Does it taste better than the other stuff, though? It tastes better, yeah. It's it's more... It's not as crunchy. It's more chewy. Right, look at our... Look at the difference, though. This is, like... Rock hard. This is still... Um... Still It's still, it's still cooling. It's still hard. But I don't think it will taste as much, like, burn. Which is good. It's like a sad face. Ooh.